Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel, and this is part of a little series I'm going to do with um, the top annoyances that people actually find of Windows 11. And we're going to make um, each annoyance will have it, its own video. So one of them, although not generalized, is still high when you look at what people are complaining about and its performance issues. Now, we know that gamers have been going crazy with stuttering and all sorts of performance problems in Windows 11. Uh, but some people that actually have a machine that is actually compatible and that moved on from Windows 10 to Windows 11 say that there are some weird issues that they see in the performance of their PCs. They say that um, a, a certain subset of Windows 10 users say that when they moved to Windows 11, they noticed a drop in performance, that a lot of the things that they did was actually slower. So um, this is interesting. It's, like I said, not generalized. A lot of people that moved from 10 to 11 don't see a difference. I don't. And I don't on any of the machines that I did so. But it could... You know, it definitely is something that could happen on certain systems. Probably has to do maybe with some drivers that are not optimized. You know, we talk about how there's new versions of Windows. Of course, new versions of Windows often require new drivers. And manufacturers are not necessarily going to update drivers, especially when a system is more than, say, three years old. Very often, the manufacturer kind of abandons that machine to its own state. Uh, so what happens is often what they'll do is they're going to just mention on the page of the product, well, you know, although this can run Windows 11, for example, it's not guaranteed that. And that happens often, and every time there's a new version of Windows, it always happens. I remember my Toshiba that came with Windows 8. Um, on the Toshiba page, it said, this product is not been tested for Windows 10, yet it ran Windows 10 perfectly. So they kind of, you know, abandoned the systems after a while. And I think some of the performance issues have much more to do with that. Because Windows 11, from what I see, seems to run as fast as Windows 10. And since a big part of the core is the same, um, although there are things that can maybe slow it down, it seems to be in general, pretty fast. And most people that I've seen talk about it and moved on from 10 to 11 say that performance is great. So I could see that performance could be hindered by something that is, like I said, a driver that's not up to date. Or maybe some types of software that you have that maybe need an update to really help the performance in a system. Um, every time there's a new Windows, usually we we kind of hope that there's new versions of either apps that we use, drivers for the hardware. That kind of helps make the system run smooth, run uh, without any problems. But um, it's a high enough complaint list that I think there are definitely people out there that see a performance drop. And I've seen that comment go through regularly on the channel here. Oh, I've seen that, you know, since I moved to Windows 11, performance is no good. Um, and the other thing that we have to account also to is the fact that um, if you've upgraded, sometimes upgrading is not the best of ideas. It's better to clean install with the new system, which often gives it better performance. So um, this is one of the top complaints that we see right now for Windows 11. And it's still continuing with Windows 11 22H2. And we even see a subset of users that see that they've moved from Windows 11 21H2 to Windows 11 22H2 and noticed that there's a, a performance drop in 22H2. So um, it'd be interesting to analyze and see exactly, you know, who, what type of hardware and, and um, what exactly is installed on these systems to see a performance drop. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.